Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Convoy. Did the game, did the game get a patch? I think it got a patch in the... Yes, Captain. Since I played it before. Because I've never been able Waiting to do this orders. before. Hey everyone! <laughs> wow, this is, this is pretty awesome, being able to actually move my troops around a little bit. Sorry about that. There's something very relaxing about seeing my convoy just truck into the desert like this. Okay, alright, let's get, let's open the map. I have to get ready to get rid of this guy, unfortunately, very soon, because I need a stronger escort vehicle. Okay, so, what are we doing here? I think we, we, when we left off, we had the flux capacitor, and now we're returning it. I've got 64 fuel. That should be enough to get me back there. Although, I'm going to have to hope for more and more fights. Oh, you know what, actually, before we do this... I'm going to quickly save an exit, because I want to check the options really quick. I might do this off-screen, but I just want to see... Is there a... Ah, darn it, no. Okay, oh well. I, I was checking to see if there were hotkeys associated with the abilities on my ATV... On my... My main... What is this called again? Convoy main vehicle? Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be one. Alright, so... Quickest way to get back to the flux capacitor, straight up. Oh, maybe this way and then out to the road. Let's do it. Oh, that fuel to just get out there. Okay, thank goodness. I don't remember where it is. Well, we're gonna go up this way. Oh, we're checking this out first. As you reach the signal, it turns out to be a poultry shop. A sign reads, Turkeys for Sale. I wonder how business is this these days. We're going to ignore that. As you pass through the city, you stumble upon a squad of privateers who are pillaging the local houses. As soon as they spot your convoy, they rush toward their vehicles. Attack them! I think when we left off, I realized that I'm going to need... Start pausing the game. Sorry, but I, I, I just realized I'm not talking at all. <laughs> I can just be trying to not do as poorly as I had been the last time I was playing this. This is the bridge coming up. Nice, a 60 millimeter cannon. Is that right? Is that, is that millimeter? I think so. 56 bolts and 13 fuel. 
We didn't do too poorly. We might be able to actually survive another battle. Just in case, though, where is the nearest camp? Back that way. We're going to keep going. This is probably a huge mistake. You return to the professor's laboratory. Upon entering the lab, you find the professor busy welding various bits of metal together, looking exceptionally pleased with himself. He notices your arrival, then says, Hello! Welcome back! We've got the energy pylon. Great, wonderful, excellent! <laughs> this is amazing! A functional Torvac energy pylon. I wanted to get my hands on one of these for ages. Yes, 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 I'll get your flux capacitor running no problem. Just give me a moment. The professor takes the energy pylon and starts tinkering with it. After some time, the professor approaches you. Got it all working, ready for you to take back to your spaceship. The energy pylon has some energy left, but don't worry about it. I'll find some uses for it. <laughs> he appears to have a slight maniacal grin on his face. You thank the professor and say goodbye before loading the flux capacitor onto your convoy. Okay. We have one flux capacitor, one of two spaces consumed. That nearest camp is still where we came from. I want to say, yeah, there was one up this way. We're going to try to make it to that one. Ooh, if this was a giant mistake. A voice calls out to you on the radio. You are the scumbags that stole our food cubes. Defend ourselves. Oh, that giant gun just utterly destroys something, that rail gun. That was awesome! But that'll make this a lot easier to, to deal with. Find some loot in the racks. 13 fuel, 57 bolts. These are sad times when men are forced to violence due to hunger. Ready and waiting. Wow, pausing the game is unbelievably helpful. <laughs> I'm doing much better now that I've decided to start doing that. Unfortunately, there's going to be large swaths of time spent just not talking and the game pause. I really, the next battle, I'm going to try to remember to actually talk about why I'm deciding to do what I'm doing. First off, we're going to repair these guys' stuff. Now, we have a we have a cannon. 
Is that better than what what are you currently using? Oh, okay, so you're using a 60mm cannon already. What's available at the shop? Do we have any other vehicles here? No vehicles here. No vehicles here. I'd rather not sell the cannon. We're going to need more fuel. And then I want to upgrade some of my other vehicles. This poor guy needs to be upgraded a little bit. Let's give him health, armor, and one more handling. And then we're going to buy one, two more fuels. We're now out of cash. I have enough to repair one more thing. No one actually is hurt. Let's leave the camp. Can I get to my convoy again? Like, can I do that? No, not from here. Okay. Maybe that was a one-time only thing, being able to see my my convoy in the background. Yeah, I don't see how to lower the map. Okay, so... We want to go back to Spaceship Mercury. Well, so yeah, everything's going to be on kind of on the way. Alright, we need to kind of hit the road. So we'll go this way. This stretch of desert appears to have been tainted by supposedly Torvac experiments. Huge craters filled with toxic goo are scattered throughout. You know, I like that stuff. It gives a lot of theme to what's going on around in here. Right, as you can see, we're heading down to sell the mill spec. I think it's near where our vehicle is anyway. You hear a voice on the radio. You passed a Torvac checkpoint. We require 25 bolts for the use of our road. The best things of life are free! Prepare for annihilation! Standing by. So, that railgun almost took out this heavy vehicle, so I'm trying to, to work on it with this guy. I probably should focus on it with these two. Because his light artillery does not require a line of sight, he's just going to keep pressure on this one guy while staying protected over here, and he's going to try to weaken whoever doesn't have shields on this side. Currently, this medium robot. Uh, this medium guy. Oh, his shields are back up over there. Sir? Well, it can't be helped. Unit reporting. I'm gonna let him take the hit this from this mine. This way, my main convoy vehicle doesn't. My MCV doesn't take the hit. Reporting. This guy will just die to this artillery if he wants. He stays there. This guy's now dead. We're gonna cycle him up to the front to deal with this mine layer. Now he's gonna focus on this one. Well, this guy's gun can pierce armor. No, we'll be fine. Actually, we're, we're gonna focus on this guy next. Let's speed things up a little bit over there. gonna take that hit because his shield's not up and running, so he's just gonna guard against that mine layer.
I love how cheery she is. Roger! He goes up to destroy that thing. We found 13 fuel 57 bolts. We took some light damage. Old Roosters looks like he's seen some better days, but we might be able to make it to the next place without too much worry. On our way there, where's the nearest camp? Uh, kind of out of the way. Oh, but our our main place is here. So, yeah, so we'll go visit our spaceship. Crate delivered. Oh, that I was terrified. <laughs> I had no idea what that was. Holy crap. <laughs> Next, we can repair my vehicles a little bit. I will need more fuel. I, I want at least five of it. Five of it. Let's see. Repair some of my vehicles a little bit. I need more fuel. Okay, and now we're going to bring the mill spec in. This must be it right there. We're going to take the long way around and take the road. You are being followed by some privateers. They demand you give them 40 bolts or they'll open fire. They'd open fire anyway. So the first thing I do is I try to get everyone into a new position closer to my vehicle so I can see where I, I need to place the vehicles in order to deal with enemy threats. Right, here we go. So where's the biggest vehicle? This guy. He's got some heavy artillery and something and his shield. I want to destroy that guy first, and so my railgun will be perfect for it. These two are going to focus on a guy who doesn't have any shields on him. We're also going to disable this guy's shields. Yeah, that guy just died instantly. Perfect. Ready and waiting. I was hoping this guy would get hit by the wreck. Unit he did not reporting. do so. Sir? We're gonna knock out this guy's shields. Begin focusing on Wait him with two of these Unit guys. Reporting. This one's gonna die to this guy here. Let's help accelerate that. Light pulse laser, 10 fuel, and 50 bolts. Perhaps traveling this road won't be bullied any longer. Oh, perhaps those traveling this road won't be bullied any longer. Alright, we're still doing pretty well. The nearest camp is nowhere near us, but we didn't take any real damage there. Let's try selling this mill spec. You arrive at the black market and look for a potential buyer for your mill spec ED-209. After some time, a man introduces himself as Mr. Kinley approaches you. That's some high-end Torvac cargo you have there. I'd be happy to take off your hands. Would you like 94 bolts or a taunter? Ooh. I'll take the 94 bolts. The taunter would be nice, but I don't have a vehicle that could make use of it at the moment. Okay, cool. So we have treasure hunting still. The nearest camp is also down in that direction. We could go down there and see what we've got. Where is the self-stealing stem bolts? Also, oh, they're right around the corner here. And the hyperdrive stabilizers, compression coil. Okay, this it's all kind of in the same direction, so sure, but we can go this way. You spot a wreck partly covered by sand. Sand. Do I want to investigate it and risk just kicking damage or it's a trap? We'll investigate it. You strip the vehicle and manage to obtain a light pulse laser and a light rocket artillery. Great! That is fantastic. We have so many weapons now.
Treasure hunting is still down in that direction. What is this? The stem bolts? We need to convince this guy to give up his land. Let's stop by. You arrive at the location Eiffel's Incorporated seeking to obtain. It appears to be a regular stretch of desert. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. As you start in investigating the area, it quickly becomes apparent that what the problem what the problem was with this stretch of what the problem with this stretch of land is. Okay, so I'm I'm sorry, I mean that sentence completely horribly wrong. <laughs> That's my fault. You are being ambushed by privateers. Okay, so my railgun can go through shields, and it has a better chance, from what I remember reading, at hitting the a big vehicle. This guy down there looks like the perfect target for it. These two are moving up. I'm gonna drop a rocket right there. Waiting orders. Vehicle report, sir. Oh wow, nice. We can kill that one right away. Oh, this is one we hit with the railgun, and it's kind of fine. It must have a leech. Vehicle report, sir. Awaiting orders. Acknowledged. Going east. Unit report. Vehicle report. Ready and waiting. Yes, Captain. Vehicle report. Awaiting orders. They're moving to the front, so I'm going to try to chase them. This guy is going to just move to the front and drop and drop mines. We just have two guys left. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for that guy. Fuel 51 bolts. We successfully defeated all the privateers and destroyed the entire base. We find some loot in the wrecks. There doesn't seem to be any form of official deed to this place, but you doubt there ever was any to begin with. With the entire base in ruins, it is unlikely any more privateers will be turned in the near future. You should return to Eiffel's Incorporated to report your success. Cool. Alright, that's done. What's next for us? So, where is the nearest camp? Let's visit it. This is kind of painful, driving all through this stuff. Thankfully, though, we, we have... The desert sun begins to burn away with no respite. The temperature gauges of your engines are rapidly rising. Focus on cooling the engines. Thanks to your efforts and the sun having passed at its highest point, your engine temperatures have returned to normal without causing any damage. Hello there. All right, so let's repair... Our the damage we've taken. We, uh, we've only taken light damage, too. This is fantastic. We will need more fuel. Oh, they have a new vehicle! Oh, but he's only got one red slot, so he's no good. Our current vehicle's probably just as good. Let's see. 700 and... Yeah, I don't need him. I'm hoping for a vehicle with another empty slot on it. 
Oh, and by the way, we don't need all this stuff either. We can scrap the light artillery. Light pulse laser, light pulse laser. We can sell a light pulse laser. Yeah, we can... S mm. What are these? Shields? Okay, one shield. It's just a, just a shame. Such a shame. Okay, so... This guy's got how much life for him? Wow, 1,250. But he doesn't take any damage, because he's just awesome like that. I do like having the light, light artillery on him. I like the mach heavy machine gun on that guy. We could drop a cannon for a laser. What damage? 20, 15? Nah, I want to keep mine. I kind of like the setup. I don't think I need, we need to do anything with these. Let's just sell... Probably should sell one of these. Yeah, we'll sell a light pulse laser. And then we're going to upgrade some of my vehicles a little more. So we're going to up the mine guard to 100% on our MCV. Over here, we're going to increase his handling. His handling. His handling? I want to get rid of this guy, is the thing. His handling's already improved. Let's up his armor one spot, and we're good. So, some light upgrades, but this is really important. Now, if one of their mine layers just gets in front of him, I don't care because he's going to take no damage from anything that gets laid in front of him. I, now I'll need to increase these guys' mine guards next time I get some cash. Okay, so where's the treasure hunting? We're really close by to it. We can take the road up this way and cut through that ravine or just go straight over the mountain. Let's go straight over the mountain. It's buried all the way back in here. Awesome. Let's see what have we got. A squad of privateers are tailing your convoy through this desert. They are attempting to radio you. Sure. Arg! We demand thirty fuel. We'll come back and take it. We'll come and take it by force. Oh, you'll have to die to take, to take my fuel. No way do I let my fuel get taken. Okay, so I'm gonna railgun this guy, also blast him with the with this EMP blaster, and then I'll just destroy him with this guy here. Standing by. He's gonna move up and start wailing on this Go one. This ready. is a mine layer, I don't I won't care about him. Going in. Ready. Standing by. Oh, I just missed that. Darn it. Okay. The mine layer I don't care about. He can just stay there. But we're gonna focus on now these just these two shielded targets. Let's work on this one first.
the K1, 10 fuel and 63 bolts. Not bad. And we took no real damage there. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. My MCB took lots of armor damage. You arrive at the location of the supposed privateer treasure. It appears that several privateers have beat you to the treasure. They move in to engage you. Wow, okay. We gotta, we gotta get them to not hit our MCV. So we need to spread the... Oh, wow, look at that nonsense. Try to keep this one just away from all my part, my vehicles in the front by trying to match the speed. Over here, I would. I'm trying to bring down this guy's shield to get rid of him next. This artillery also needs to go, and this guy's almost dead, so I'm going to try to chase him down as well. Oop, I wasn't paying attention. That guy got in front of me. Safe and out of that. Oof. Standing by. 